Hey guys, Coder Byte, uh, Coder Challenge. So, calculator, classical one, it's hard difficulty. Again, uh, 15 points into each of the points. So, this challenge will be evaluating a mathematical expression within a string. So, it looks like we'll have string to tax and do our math out there. So, yeah, let's roll. We have a function calculator. Uh, take a string parameter uh, being passed and value the mathematical expression within it. Uh, for example, if string were uh, 2 plus 1 bracket open minus multiply 3, output should be 8. Another example, if string were blah blah blah, the output should be 8. Uh, uh, there can be a uh, um, parenthesis uh, within string, so you must evaluate it properly according to rules of uh, uh, arithmetic. Uh, string will contain uh, operator, so yeah, uh, hold on, plus, minus, divide, multiply, and brackets. Okay, so we don't do any other like crazy stuff or possible in calculator, so it's kind of simplest fashion, but bracket, uh, with brackets as well. Um, uh, if you have strings like uh, evaluate from the left to right, so divide when you multiply uh, and second one multiplier divide and then uh, and then add. Yep, kind of. Uh, yeah, we need to know this basic and make sure we implement it. Evaluation will be such that there will be no any decimal operation, uh, so uh, so you don't need to count rounding uh, or what not. So cool. So with like single numbers, so we don't need to think that it will be anything else. So uh, integer only. Good with that. So we can do like. There's several ways how we can do implement this, so let's see how we can execute from this one. So let's clean up. We'll run. So it will be 15 as needed. Let's do run cases. All correct, correct. Uh, this is one of possible implementation when we go through the strings and basically uh, doing the manipulation well, there is even other version almost no liner here like three liners using Greg X so uh, that that also is a viable solution uh, again so you can go this route as well but let's let's come up with something more uh, uh, structure that we can or oh, even truly one liner here just to give you example how implementation can be oops no it that didn't fly hold on guys now that didn't work out I can uh, go back to previous one so let's find something structural that we can kind of go through details uh, and you will get better understanding how we can break it down right so more structured implementation here so we'll have our stack array uh, last token so we'll, uh, we'll have function that so will have three attributes uh, so definitely a, a and b two of them variables and the function itself so um, anyway, and we will verify like hey if it's plus minus we will do this mathematical um, uh, manipulation and calculation so again as we described it we only handle four again if you need to expand to something more than that you definitely can do this so it's kind of future proof out there so and the, the major activity will be happening uh in this one so yeah process stack so we'll send out this stack of uh, uh array uh, out there so we'll kind of go through the logic if it's now we'll still verify so we'll return none so if it's 
one so we'll uh, length so if it's one single digit we'll definitely return what uh, what we receive it uh, out there so after that we will going through the the whole stuff uh, when we got uh, uh, we go through the cycle and we're checking if its stack is more than two so from this perspective we again checking for the next operation uh, and we uh, uh, send out this for recalculation and we will uh, uh, slice it back uh, to stack again and if not we will just adding up interesting so we we'll got um, uh, another piece of logic uh, we will go when uh, uh, we will get plus minus so uh, this is was multiplication and divide only function and here we uh, we got it so so next piece we will here process char so we'll go and use it uh, push method here so going through all pieces uh, and again uh, parse int and the last but not least piece of logic uh, we have token we go through the match uh, the all possible uh, and again goes uh, through the loop of tokens process our char method as we did before which is in all process stack uh, uh, out there and the process stack will be calling uh, performance uh, perform function itself so again it's uh, scalable uh, again uh, process stack we will do this big uh, exercise again here and we will basically return uh, as the processes uh, stack out there so yeah let's let's run the code yeah, here's what's typo. So yeah, we got this. So uh, we got our 15 here. So let's run the uh, cases. Correct, correct. And I'm uh, pretty sure we should be good with this implementation. So let's go with submission. I will confirm submission. And here we are. So we got most tests. Only one didn't pass. Out there. Let's see if we can troubleshoot. Again, we will not fight for it. So, and does that doesn't make sense? Okay, we got two here. So it's definitely kind of wrong. -ish. And the problem area could be this one. Let's see if we can rewrite it. So regular and pressed deaths uh, has been escaping using backslash to avoid being in, uh, interpreted uh, as a range operator. Here we go. This is again, as you can see. Oh, let's see if that will do. Again, let's give us a two. So yeah, that's not ideal ideal implementation, but at least a good starting point, or at least a getting majority of use cases done. Yeah, let me know if you still need to figure out this and make it uh, make it right. Uh, so for that matter, yeah, leave your comments and guys, see you in the next one. Thank you, bye.